Our team takes care of primary hyperparathyroidism, particularly, and that's by and large, that's something that is defined by high blood calcium. People get their, their blood drawn on routine blood tests at their family doctor's office, and their calcium comes back 10.4. 10.6, 10.3, and they start looking up what the symptoms are and they say, well, wait a minute, I'm tired all the time. I, in fact, have become a tired and forgetful, depressed, achy, crabby insomniac. And I get that line all the time that I'm, I can't remember things quite so well, I can't concentrate quite so well, I'm, I feel like my job performance is off. Yes, there are some more concrete things that this happen that this will bring about. There are target organs that it causes problems with osteoporosis, kidney stones. There are people that get loss of kidney function from this. But what people complain of each day is that they have these, as we call them, neurocognitive or neuropsychiatric problems. And that's what bothers them every day. Um, and you look and you say calcium level is in the tens and that's not really normal. Adults should have calcium levels in the nines, not the tens.